Thou sayest I am the king, for this was I born, and for this I came into the world, and that I should give testimony to the truth. What is truth today? It's the same, the same that it's always been. Truth does not change. And that's the thing in this day and age. The world has backed away from the truth, so much so that it cannot be reconciled. <coughs> The world's truth is now different for every person, which completely goes against the essence of truth. Truth is something by which we can verify, by which we know as a certainty. You can't have any sort of certainty when there are billions of possibilities. Everyone has their own truth, it's a fallacy. That's why we have sworn allegiance to the truth, to Christ our King. Because truth, truth is what it is, it's a constant. Not just something that will change with the times, and either, either it is or it is not. The truth is what it is. It's interesting because <clears throat> our Lord said, I am the way, the light, and the truth. And God said, I am who I am. Because he exists all at once. He doesn't progress across time. He doesn't change. Just as the truth doesn't change. He knows everything all at once. An ever-present now, as they say. And so, truth being unchanging and consistent, ever solid, it gives us a good foundation to stand upon, a good vantage point from which we can see all of the truths. A priest said to me once, truth clarifies the mind. And it makes so much sense to me to that very point, that if you have truth, you know that you're standing on good ground, that you're certain of your position, and then everything can flow from there. But if you don't have truth, if you're not certain, then everything that follows is suffering. But we have the truth. We have a moral guide, a set of rules. We can know right from wrong. And in the world, it changes every day. Because we have a good God ruling over us. Christ our King. We have a good God ruling over us instead of the world. At least that's what we want. <coughs> what we want when we rationalize it. Is that how it actually goes? Is that how we actually act day to day? Do we recognize our King? Yes, we do. When we come to the church, we genuinely, we reverence our Lord and the Blessed Sacrament. Coming here is, in itself, is, is an act that shows our, our allegiance. When we have the world is so backwards today, even the, the quote-unquote religions, they don't have the truth. So, if God is our king, he's the king of our hearts, because it's our actions that come from our hearts. And God is true, and his kingdom is not of this world. So if we can possibly have a worldly heart, if we have a worldly heart, how can Christ rule it? The two kingdoms cannot be <coughs> They cannot coexist. We cannot serve God and man. It's very important for us to take that to heart and remind ourselves of it every day. We have sworn fealty to our Lord. So 
let us heed the words of St. Paul today. We give thanks to God the Father, who hath made us worthy to be partakers of the lot of the saints in light, who hath delivered us from the power of darkness, and hath translated us into the kingdom of the Son of His love. Give thanks to God that you have the faith. There's so many extremely intelligent people out there who are atheists, have no religion at all. It's definitely a gift from God, a grace. Especially in this day and age when the world is so far removed from the light of the truth. We have that light. We have that understanding. We know with a certainty. Just look at our quote unquote conservative president. We place our hope in him because that's the best we've got. We want to call and think that that's what we have to settle. He's probably, the, the, he is the best that we've got, and probably will be again. But let's face it, it is appalling that someone of his character is the president. <coughs> All the more, a warning sign for us. The world is going downhill because it doesn't have the light. The light of the truth, the light of the faith. And so, we know not to hope in secular powers. Now we have our king, who's already given us the remedy for all human difficulties, in whom we have redemption through his blood, the remission of sins. Everyone that is of the truth heareth my voice. And we know that he will lead us as the shepherd to a heavenly kingdom. We have the greatest, the greatest uh, rule of government, the greatest form of government, is ruled by a, a good king. A just king. We have the king of kings. And he provides for us. He knows our needs better than ourselves. So let us give thanks to him by letting him reign fully in our hearts. Keeping nothing from him, as we read again in the epistle. In him it hath well pleased the Father that all fullness should dwell. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Ghost. Amen.